This Sunday in worship, um, we are once again going to gather around our communion table. And as we've been saying, in this new way of de being a virtual church, that table stretches across four or five counties, all in different kinds of states and nations. But it'll be a great opportunity for us once again to celebrate um, and have that moment of Thanksgiving and that Eucharist together. So this is what you'll need to do between now and Sunday morning. Um, find your elements, the juice, the bread, and have a place for them in your home. Some of you still have time to get us pictures of your altar. Now, you, great instructions went out on our e-news on Tuesday. You can refer back to that. And Ann will tell you how to get those pictures in. We will have a wonderful montage of just these uh, capturings of uh, how you'll be worshiping in your homes on Sunday morning. I've heard several of you with conversations with me. We talk about bucket lists, travel bucket lists. You know, where, where would be that next place that would be on your bucket list? Paul had a bucket list. There was one place that was preeminent. He talked about it several times. It was Spain. You know, Paul was a preeminent world traveler. He went to every port and every whistle stop in the Mediterranean world, and he had this joy of kind of crossing ethnic, national boundaries he had never crossed before. And Spain was that just wonderful possibility for him. He wrote to his friends in Rome. He said, oh, I'm going to be coming by. I'll see you for a few days, and I'm on my way to Spain. He never got there. He spent the rest of his days in a Roman prison cell. His plans and hopes and dreams were interrupted, and so many of us have found ourselves caught in this season of interruption. Some people, much more so than us, that they're dealing with the real grief and loss of loved ones. But to a lesser degree, a lot of us are dealing with those hopes of Confirmation in May, high school graduation, family trips, and spring break, and all that got interrupted. So how does one live as a person of faith in that season? Paul's going to help us. We're going to let Scripture guide us this Sunday. Uh, I hope that you'll be with us either at 845, 1055, worshiping with us.